Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Boom, wrestling fans around the world. What's going on? Tuning into the Joe Cronin Show on a Wednesday night after AEW. AEW Dynamite Baby, Tony Schiavone wants a piece of Britt Baker's insides. And Adam Cole doesn't want that to happen. No doubt about it, I'm hard down there. Well, I'm going to try to hype this up as much as I can, but the fact of the matter is... wasn't very hyped tonight I gotta be honest it was pretty it was all right but solid little show with itty bitty itty bitty story progression not a lot of story progression tonight from AEW it's just just a little bit and of course you know for all the people that didn't buy the pay-per-view I mean that's the big thing right So many people didn't buy the pay-per-view, but nowadays they just upload all the clips to YouTube anyway. So even if you didn't buy the pay-per-view, you should be able to watch it and see what happened. And then I guess you're just going to experience it live again, right? I mean, that's the deal. You know, I I don't know. It is what it is. I thought it was a nice show tonight. It just was, you know, not a lot of progression, you know. So really the thing that, the thing what I was looking forward to tonight was I wanted to see some like a couple of good matches and maybe get some backstory about what was going to be going on. You know, now we know that Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, which I'm going to be doing that wrong for a long time, but Brian Danielson is really definitely coming for Kenny Omega. You know, we, we thought that the other day ba- based on what we saw and everything that was going on. But so there was this like just tad bit of progression, but there just wasn't a lot of progression. And there was uh you know, I think it left some people probably thinking, all right, that was it. You know what I mean? It's uh, certainly better than, than Raw, no doubt about it, better than WWE Raw. Um, uh, Malachi Black started the night off. It was a nice little entrance. I like Dustin's matches usually. They, they had a pretty good match, you know, nice for the opening. And probably the best match of the night, I guess. You know, if you... I'm trying to think if you guys can think of something. But, I mean, I I think that was the best match of the night. I I really can't get over this main event, how it was so short. I mean, this main event was way short. All the stuff with Suzuki and everything else. And Suzuki just comes out there and... I mean, they did a few things. It was good, but it was needed five more minutes. I, I felt like there needed to be another five minutes of this main event here with Moxley. I don't quite understand that. You know, obviously Raw was a piece of trash two out of ten this week. Maybe worse. But, you know, tonight, I you know, I, I don't know. I thought Dynamite was nice, but it's a six out of ten maybe or something. You know, I don't know. It was a lot of people saying, you know, solid show, pretty good show. But just, you know, there wasn't there wasn't a lot of progression. There was progression, but there just wasn't a lot or even a little significant amount. It was just the smallest little like, hey, remember what we did Sunday? Here's a little more of that kind of, and we'll see you next week as we finally get time to write something. Or you know, It was just very, very weird. I, I, I don't know. Not a lot of progression, but you didn't need it. You kind of just needed to see Brian Danielson again and see Adam Cole again and you know, see these guys again and see where CM Punk was going to go. And he just kind of came out again and did promo and, you know, we'll see what happens. I I get it. I get it. But it's just a very little tiny progression. So that's fine. Next week will be really the week um, where, you know, make or break type of things will happen, I would think. You know, I wouldn't think we can. I don't think we're going to take another baby step next week. I think we're going to take a bigger step, uh, hopefully. And that's the only issue I had tonight. You know, it felt like for the for the crowd that was there, they got to see all this stuff that was nice, but watching at home, it was like more of the same, you know, not a whole lot of stuff. I would have done more maybe myself or done something. That really, the the fact of the matter is, if the main event had been really sick and really like a good thing, 
it would have really helped out. But because the main event, it felt rushed. It felt like they, they wrestled for eight minutes. I don't understand, but... His ass might be leaking. Mecca Sandwich. Forgetting his pen. Forgetting his friends. Is this how it is? But we're still pretend. The Biden can defend. Oh, it's a weekend in Biden's. No matter what they say. We can make it talk today. First time watching AU since Max Caster shit show was pretty good especially MJF going all in on Paleman's home mom punk back is good especially since he didn't just trash WWE in his promo Dustin vs Black was great Mox vs Suzuki was good but wanted more. Yeah, it needed, that, that one just needed to be longer. That was the only problem is that it wasn't long enough. That was it. Mecca sandwich, baby. Uh, yeah, MJF stuff was good. You know, Pillman's getting better on the mic and stuff like that. So that was cool watching MJF just get to crap on everybody. Um, you know, that was cool. So MJF did well. You know, I also thought, you know, CM Punk, nice coming out, fire up the crowd, do a little promo, do the legend thing. Um, Max Caster uh, had a backstage segment that was a little weird, his segment with Pillman, but... Um, I don't know why it was so weird. I don't know. But, like, he seemed, like, nervous and that he... It's funny because he cuts these raps. He seems crazy good. Like, he's very confident. But backstage, he felt, like, kind of nervous about what he was doing almost. I don't know. It was weird. Shit bomb! Max Caster, I love him, though. You become... Glad he's still there. A shit bomb. Really enjoy their shit. Hey, Joe, I have to ask why the hole in the wall behind you. Was it a WWE freak out? Yes, it was, sir. Uh, what up, Alan Stober? How you doing, man? Shout out to a longtime man, Alan Stober. It was on camera. You missed it. I actually, I actually fixed it, and then I put another hole in the wall a little while later. So you know, it's funny because I, I actually fixed it and then put another hole in the wall, and then um, I could fix this hole, but I think the hole's hilarious, so I just leave it there. So yeah, I, I could fix the hole. I just, uh, you know, I just, but I don't. I, I like to, I like to see the damage, you know, at this point. So let me just, uh, let me drop the top dog up here. Uh, Mecca Sandwich is going to be up there as the uh, the top dog here. Let me get the uh, top dog logo. But uh, yeah, I mean, listen. Again, there were some nice things tonight. I think it was pretty good show, pretty solid show, you know. But you know, at the worst, it was a five out of ten. You know, I, I'm going to give it a six. I think there are some people out there that would that would give it a potentially give it a uh, five or something like that. I think some people gave it a seven tonight. That's fine too. I'm not going that high and I'm not going five as that low, but I could see the you know that people would do that. Let me get my uh, top dog spot here and uh... oh wait, do I screw it up? Let me let me well have to copy it. It's okay, I can copy it. I'm good at I'm good at uh, filling it in. That's what she said. And um, yeah, Jake. I don't believe. I don't think Jake saw the show tonight. He was uh, spending some time at the hospital again, so he's recovering. Man, uh, some dogs tried to eat his uh, private parts off. I'm just kidding. No, he's okay. So yeah, I mean, listen. Punk was cool. Hyped the crowd. I like it. Don't do much. Threaten Hobbs. You know, on to the next thing. Basically, nothing much comes out of it to me. Ruby Soho cuts a little promo deal. Britt Baker comes in the back. Britt Baker is back to solidly being promoted as a heel. Full-on Britt Baker heel again. Fine, she's good in that spot. I like it. She's going after Soho. Then we get the Hobbs match against um, half-white John Cena's younger brother. And uh, that match was cut off by commercial so much it irritated me. It was really just a statement type of match for Hobbs, really, is what they were trying to do. And then it got pretty good, but it was over. I just, the pacing of the matches tonight were, was horrible, in my opinion. I, I'll just say it. The matches tonight, the pacing of the matches was terrible. Like, Dustin, I thought that match was probably the best match of the night. 
but the pacing again of the commercials and what they did just no, no match synced up tonight right there should have been at least one match that did well you know there should have been one match that was like okay this match is good and you know that that just didn't happen tonight and I, I don't know why but that irritates me like it, there should have been a match that delivered the Moxley match was pretty good, but it was it was just too fast, too much punch fast. Eight minutes, it's that should have been twelve to fifteen minutes like of match, and it didn't happen. So Dan Lambert cut a promo that was good. It was more of the same, and you know Jake the other day was complaining about Dan Lambert that he's always out there just cutting another promo for no reason for nothing. Well, he did the same thing again tonight. So he did the same thing tonight that he did on the pre-show on Sunday night for All Out. Uh, basically saying, I got my boys here. He, who wants to challenge them? You know, that type of thing. So more of that. So, you know, I can't imagine Jake will like that. And some of you guys will like that after what I heard you guys, some of you guys say. Um, you know, I don't know how many of you guys saw my Star Trek parody earlier today, but I'll play it a little bit later for you. It is Star Trek Day, so I was hyped up. MJF cut a good promo. I thought the interaction with him and Wardlow and that stuff was all good. This was, I believe, I think the best segment of the night. I think the MJF segment was the best segment of the night. It was something that I appreciated, something I thought was funny. He was good on the mic per usual. Um, he's got the heat. It was kind of fun. He's just a prick. I love it. He was calling her preggers and stuff. Stuff that uh, I thought was funny. Pretty good stuff. Probably the best segment of the night, I suppose. Then they beat the shit out of Brian Pillman. That's funny. His uh, tag team partner came out to try to help him, and, you know, Varsity Blondes come up a little short there. And, um, you know, then we get Ruby Soho's debut. She comes out, looks good against Hater. They have a pretty good match. But, again, as soon as the match starts, it's interrupted with a commercial again. Commercials were fucking atrocious tonight. I don't normally complain that much about the commercials, but Jesus Christ, son. These commercials were, were so fucking terrible tonight. So Ruby Soho finally gets some time with Jamie Hayter. It lasts about four minutes. I'm pretty sure we, we, sure we saw four minutes of a match. I don't know if Ruby was just selling her neck being injured. People were actually worried about her neck, the way she was walking and stuff. I don't know. It was weird the way she was holding her neck, though. I know that. And so I, I'm not sure what happened, but it was weird. Like, I, I, don't, know, I don't know why the hero was I mean unless the story is going to be that hey you hurt my neck Jamie Hader I'm going to get you now maybe somebody in the chat you guys if you, any of you guys saw something I missed please let me know please let me know if there's something I missed um because I just I I don't know what it was but I I saw her hurt by the way it's $10 for Mecca sandwich Mecca sandwich thank you I just didn't notice the part where she got hurt so I'm not sure if she was uh you know, doing that to sell that she got hurt. But I know that there was a neck breaker at one point. And the neck breaker, normally you would think the neck breaker would go back to back and you drop down or you drop down, you wouldn't do much. But there was a neck breaker at one point and she was like facing sideways and she kind of pulled down thinking, maybe thinking that they were together and they weren't. And it looked like Ruby Soho's neck actually like, or that was the cell. I, I don't really know. In fact, I couldn't. I'm trying to find a clip of it now because her, she did get a neck breaker. And after that point, you know, she really sold the neck for the rest of the match. And I don't know if. I'm not sure what was up with that. You know, but uh, obviously, I would think it'd be part of the the story, I, I guess. But Or it was just Ruby was trying to sell the neck. You know, I just, you know, I wanted to sell the, the neck. She sold it. The, I believe she sold it the rest of the match. And then after the end of the match, she was really just like you would think that the face after her first victory would want to be like, I fucking did it. I'm great. You know, I got through this easy, you know, that type of deal. But it's they didn't do that. Um, it's it's just like they just basically had this. She was like devastated, dude. She was like, fuck, fuck. And it's like you wouldn't think you'd want that look for the new face you know to be doing that so I don't know man if she got really hurt or she was just that pumped up so not sure if anybody has seen the news on that let me know I haven't looked yet tonight uh Jake is in the hospital so speaking of x-rays yeah Jake's having his own x-ray 
Um, I mean, Britt Baker did attack her, I think, at the end of the match, so maybe that's that's it too. You know, they were trying to sell that, obviously. Actually, didn't Britt, actually Britt Baker did beat the shit out of her at the end of the match, didn't she? Did she hit her with she hit her with a swinging neck breaker too, right? And then and a DDT maybe. So that's why she sold. That's what it was. I was watching. I was turning away at the end after she won to collect a few things around here. That's right. So maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe she's fine. They probably just, she just sold it. Come on. It's got to be, she's fine. She was just selling the neck. It's got to be. I'm ridiculous. I forgot all about that. What a dumb, dumb. Sometimes I'm dumb, dumb. Oh shit. Smoke up. Show wasn't that good and you can tell it main event was rushed. Loved some moments like Brian Pillman and MJF. Dustin vs Malachi was the best match by far. The reverse camera angle and the tunnels now being reversed will take some getting used to six tenths. You know what I don't get about that? And sound, By the way, Soundwave92, thank you so much, man. The top dog now. Let me go up here and drop him up on the top dog spot. Soundwave92 in the 25 spot. Thank you, man. Um, here's what I don't understand. Why did they rush the main event like they did? They rushed it so much, and then the match was over, and then there was still three minutes left, and for three minutes, John Moxley walked around the entire arena celebrating in the crowd. So why did they need to do Moxley celebrating in the crowd for like three minutes? Why couldn't they have, I don't know, given that three minutes to the match or two minutes to the match and had a minute of a celebration? Why did they have to have a three-minute celebration? They were rushing to get, they were clearly rushing through the match to get whatever and I thought, oh, they didn't have time to do anything they wanted to do or something, you know. But then they walked around for three minutes. It just seemed stupid to me. I don't get it. It all felt it, it, it all felt rushed. That's the truth. That is true. Everything felt rushed, like they needed to get everything on there. You know, it just felt to me like, listen, don't have, like, let Ruby Soho have a full match. Let John Moxley have a full match, and I guess you know eliminate that Dustin match, or have the or have Malachi Black just beat Dustin quickly, have Malachi Black in like a squash thing with Dustin. Why give all the time to everybody else and to every every other thing? Like I don't understand what the point of that was. So I think tonight's show was sloppy, rushed, but like in a way, people are saying solid. You know, I don't know about solid, but I mean it was. I enjoyed tonight enough. You know, there was a, enough stuff going on like crazy. It was hectic, so that's nice. It didn't feel sleepy, you know, like raw. It didn't put me to bed, but it just felt like nothing ever really got rolling. It was just about, oh, let me see Daniel Bryan. Okay, let me see CM Punk. Okay, okay, now let me see Adam Cole. Okay, and all right, now the Moxley main event's coming. All right, let's see what happens. And then the main event didn't really go far. So it was just like... A lot of rushing around to get to everything, which ended up kind of giving you about nothing, really. So, I mean, it was okay, though. I'm still, like I said, like, I don't know, maybe 6 out of 10 or something like that. It just wasn't the best. I just think it was a little bit sloppy and, and, and badly timed in many in many ways. And then there were just too many commercial breaks, man, during the matches. The matches had so many commercial breaks. Like, every match was interrupted twice in certain spots that I thought were important or, like, no match had a chance to ever get in a groove, ever. And I don't know. It's just I know that that's the way it is on TV a lot of times, but it just was, I don't know, it was extra bad tonight for that. I thought the Daniel Bryan stuff with uh, Kenny Omega was pretty good. I pretty much enjoyed that. Obviously, the fans are all doing yes, yes, yes. And, you know, oh, one of the funniest parts in that was the spray guy spraying fucking... When Daniel Bryan jumped in the ring, he just starts spraying Daniel Bryan. He's like, 
like which is again funny but stupid because of the spray when he sprays himself and everybody else it does nothing to them and they're like oh yeah spray me up but then when he sprays other people it burns their eyeballs like they're like ah, ah. so it doesn't make any sense why the spray some people love the spray but the other people the spray burns their eyes it doesn't make any sense so the spray still makes no sense it's still hilarious when he sprays a good guy in the face with this shit like that is really funny but it just felt like a lot of what we already saw Sunday kind of playing out again on TV just to remind us or for a little double it, it felt like a layering like here's another layer of what you think what you know is going on right now here's another layer of it we'll get to the, the progression next week not much progression this week this was more of just like okay here's some more layers to what happened in case you missed it and then we'll get to everything else next week that's what that's really what I saw out of this and so that's what it was like yeah I wish they gave a little more and they did a little more shit but you know even the guy even Suzuki got busted open and it was just like what you got busted open like they really like it was just it was just a bad slow it was, just, it was a bad quick match you know it should have been an extra five minutes that's all. It, it 100% needed five more minutes. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. Felt like a reset show. Not too bad. Six. Mr. Five King tens. Crimson. What's up, Mr. King Crimson? See, I, you know, I didn't feel like it was a reset show again. I felt like it was like a... Like... I mean, it was kind of like, okay, you saw what you saw Sunday. Now let's... Now let's do that again, kind of, to remind everybody who didn't see it on TV. That's that's what it felt like to me. That's that's how I felt. So, and uh, Moxley just, I, I felt like I was watching Moxley in the crowd more tonight than I watched anything else. I feel like he just wa like he walked around the crowd so much. And, uh, you know, the big news today, which I didn't get to speak about yet, is Paul Levesque, Triple H. You know, not to go into a, you know something else besides AEW, but I mean, I did got to bring it up that, uh, you know, um, what the fuck are you saying, Bullfrog? Get the fuck out of here. I'm done with the community. Yeah, okay. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm done. I'm leaving YouTube. It's like every day you're leaving, coming, going, you're hating, you're this, that, and the other thing. You're, you're fucking lying is what you're doing. Just go away. I don't care. Um... Lee Moriarty is all elite. What is this? Lee, would you like to sign with AEW? Yeah! Oh, I guess uh, Lee Moriarty signed with AEW. Tony Khan came out at the end of the show. I don't even know who. Like, I don't even. I guess I don't watch Dark. So, congratulations to whoever that is. Um, the out of touch crew again. WWE fans complain that Roman Reigns. Should be number one in PWI 500. Yeah, a lot of people thought, hey, what the hell? He finally did it, and they gave him number two. I thought that I I don't understand why Kenny Omega is number one again. I, I don't really get that either. I think Kenny Omega is wrestling, and Roman's bet had a good heel character. I wouldn't have been surprised if Roman had made it made it number one. To be honest. In fact, it might have been good for PW Insider to be a number, make him number one, to be honest, but uh, whatever. Chrissy says, tonight shows six at best. I've had about it. Oh, I've about had it with Elite coming out and doing the same shit. Yeah, there just wasn't a lot of new stuff to figure it out. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? There really wasn't enough to do there. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I think that it's one of those things where it's like, it's just that they didn't want to, like they, they plan more on Sunday or something. They just didn't want to, they, they had days to, to do something here. They had days to figure out, you know, oh, we're going to do this, that, or the other thing. And they just didn't, they didn't want to do it. They just were like, we just, we just want to stick to this little bit of progression and give you this little bit of progression. And that's what they did tonight, which is fine. It's better than WWE. Maybe they think, you know, I don't know, they, they can do some stuff on Rampage. You know, I don't know. But I, I just feel like I had fun watching, but 
I, I kind of just really want to see next week again now. So that's always good, right? You know, they got me wanting to watch next week, but it's it's just wasn't a lot tonight. And the, the matches is what let me down tonight. I wish there had been a match or two that was really good or that was something. And I think after watching Sunday's pay-per-view and seeing those matches, it's like you watch this and it just felt like rushed. You get out there, start match, okay, commercial, all right, come back, oh, quickly, somebody wins, okay, on to the next thing. And it was like, well, you might as well have not had matches. You know, I mean, you know, I, I enjoyed the setup tonight better than WWE Raw, which was awful watching those tag teams just go on and on with nothing. But just tonight, I don't know, man, I just felt like this was, everything was too rushed. And you really had no chance to get in a groove as far as the wrestling goes. And so we really needed that. We needed one or two things, you know, that was going to give us wrestling. And we didn't get that, the match that we needed. They said it was about wrestling and WWE said that was, they were entertainment. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. Don't get that second shot, says Paul. Jesus. Everybody I know has gotten it. It would be weird to get the first one and then just, just bail on the second one. Like, all right. Got the got it. I'm out. You know, that'd be weird. It'd be very strange to not get the second one. Let me jump over to uh, I'll jump over to Discord. Oh, wait, Triple H had a heart attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, maybe it was the COVID. Uh, he got the vax, right? So the vax is uh, taking out Triple H. That'll be interesting. Rastafa, what's up, man? What? Rastafa? Bro, Staffa, you're on the call, motherfucker. What the hell? All right, well, what the hell's going on? By the way, it is Star Trek Day, everybody. I've been having a blast today, although Star Trek is basically dead and it's been taken over by mongoloid idiots, especially guys like Les Moonves, who, uh, you know, uh, took, you know, turned uh, Star Trek Enterprise off the air and then just destroyed Star Trek. And then decided to bring it back. Oh, man, what's up? Oh, you're not supposed to be unmuted, Bullfrog. Why is your name Fucktard of Stupidity? I, I quit. I, I've had it with you. I've had To the people on social media making jokes in light of Triple H situation, go fuck yourself. There is more important things than wrestling. Imagine being his kids, not knowing if they will see Theoda tomorrow. So with all your dumb memes, go fuck off. Wait a minute. What's going on with dumb memes? People are memeing Triple H or something? What's... I don't understand. Oh, they're like... bad. Oh, there's me... Like, because... Yeah, that's why I really didn't say much. I mean, I get like... What, the me what is there a meme on Triple H? Because they're like, oh, Vince is killing him or something like that. Is that what you're talking about, Alexa, sweet ass? I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. No, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about Star Trek, but I do have a video that I can. Uh, some of you may have seen earlier. If you saw my video, hit one. If you didn't see it, hit two. Um, uh, let me, B Bullfrog. How did you unmute yourself? What is going on? You, 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 why are you yelling? Wait, why do you say it again? You're breaking up. Hold on. Okay, I think. Where are you? All right, you sound like you're on a NASA space shuttle right now. You better do your fucking checkbook, motherfucker. I want to sue you for seven thousand fucking dollars. You Why are you, fucking cocksucker. Well, are you going to sue me? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What happened? What are you talking about? Because I muted you on Discord? The fucking dollars. And I am going to sue you for... They just talked to my address in your fucking chat room. Wait a minute. Say it again. You're so loud. I'm serious. You're so loud that you're breaking up. I don't know if it's your microphone. You're Why are you mad at me? I haven't even talked to you. 
Because you let Pedros and C-Man bully me today. What do you mean you the most? What do you mean I bullied you today? I didn't bully you today. Okay, but what the fuck does that have to do with me? That guy bullies me every day. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Why do you sound so shitty right now? You have a bad connection? What's what's going on? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, but you're like really breaking up, bro. It's tour. To, it's just about getting him out there, like you said. Different audiences. They paid to see him, so he gave them all their little moment of punk. But yeah, on TV, it's kind of playing like a little bit like, ooh, okay, all right. Let's, you know, they're not really. It's just a hey, I came out. That that's all it is, and I understand that. And you do that sometimes, and maybe, maybe I would have done the same thing too. But it's just like it's the matches that drove me nuts tonight. I don't mind CM Punk coming out and saying like, "Hey, something's gonna happen eventually." Blah. Like and Daniel Bry or Brian Danielson coming out and saying, "Hey, Kenny Omega, this is what I want to do." And Adam Cole coming out just to have the entrance. Like I don't mind those easy gimmies because they're not ready yet to quite move on to the to the story. That's fine. I just expect if you don't, you know, put all that out there, that's great right there. Like that's a four and five out of ten right there, just seeing those people out. But then you hope the wrestling carries it to a seven and eight or something like that. And unfortunately just the wrestling never clicked tonight. Every match, everything, nothing uh -huh. clicked right. That that was the one match. match. Oh, that was a good match, yeah. Go I like that. I but I it was a good match. Good. I mean they could have used Black to maybe do a squash that way. They could have used something else for a little bit better segment. Yeah, to me, I felt like that match went on a little too long. I could, I, you know, thinking that he beat what Cody in like about a how long was that? A minute and a half, two minutes, and then he goes and faces Dustin, and it's like a fifteen-minute match. Like in my opinion, that right. kind of made him. It made him look a little weak, but I don't know. I feel like they could have made him. And now we're your match and, save time. and now we're getting and now we're getting Cody and Malachi Black at the Grand Sam show in New York, which now Cody gets his win back, unfortunately. No, oh, yeah, really? there might be a scurry finish though. I think it could be a scurry finish, and then they do something else later down the line again, or who knows? I I, I think it's a little too early for Alice to lose, especially if they're doing stuff with this weird eye makeup shit, like this whole gimmick that he's got going on, like. It keeps getting worse and worse. I'm assuming they're going to do something like where he goes some type of supernatural crap. And, but I don't know. I think if, if well, he I loses it, God, I don't know. I appreciate them using Malachi Black, though. You know, mm. him missing shows is bad, but seeing him actually, you know, being out there and wrestling is nice for once. Well, yeah, I mean, look, I think they should be doing something like that with CM Punk, you would think, right? I mean, if him not being there every night. Like, they're doing what they should do with Punk with Alistair or with Black. So, you know, cutting these promos, maybe not having to show up at every show, or not wrestle at every show, but make an impact. At least still, like, everyone knows the storyline that's going on. I, I just think, like, I, I thought, even though I like Dustin, I, I almost wish that he just squashed him. So right. that Ruby's match could have been longer and then the main event could have been longer. It just felt like those could have been longer and then that would have been better. And then it because like even Dustin's match, you know, with Malachi, that was I don't know, man, was that the I thought that was the best match of the night. Was that the best match of the night? Seems so, but was wasn't the ending kind of it was weird. Awkward when he yeah. when he hit him when he hit him in the shoulder? Yeah, he hit him. The kick? Well, so okay, so here's what happened. Here's the problem. I didn't see – I saw the kick to the shoulder. But apparently before that, am I wrong? Did he – what happened before that? Because the announcers were like, oh, man, he hit something before that, and they were selling that. Like, oh, we know that the Black Mass or whatever didn't really get him, but he he did something happen before that. What was that? Did he hit an exposed turnbuckle, I thought I heard them say? I don't – Yeah. Yeah, was it? Okay, that makes sense then. But, good, but either way, it's still yeah, kind it of a, like yeah, they yeah. tried to sell like, oh my god, even with a you know brutal black you know black mass or whatever. It's just I don't know. Yeah, I, so like when they said like, oh, he hit the, you know what? Basically, they sold it like, oh, whatever. Yeah, Jr. He didn't really get all that 
that kick, but whatever ha- the thing that happened before that is what got him. He was already out. That's really what happened, and then he was bleeding and stuff. So, yeah, it didn't really work out because he was bleeding from the mouth, but I missed the move that happened before that. And they really put that over, so they may have saved it. Okay, all right, Jennifer says he hit the back. He hit the back shoulders, but Dustin just banged exposed turnbuckle. Okay, so there you go. Now, obviously, the exposed turnbuckle was to give him time to put some kind of blood packet in his mouth or something like that. So that yeah. worked. That, but that works out because the blood does come from that exposed turnbuckle. Then, pretty much. Although I think it was the kick that was supposed to be that. So, you know. Yeah. The- the question is though, was that still a botch? Like, is it, yeah, right. Was that, I, mean, I don't think that was planned. No, they botched. No, no, they no. yeah, they botched. He was supposed to kick him better. I mean, he kicked him in the shoulder. It, you know, he was trying to be safe, but also devastating, and they just didn't make it work. It looks like um, the camera, the camera shot was the worst you could have for it, which is just by accident. It was shooting right at the shoulder, so you know, it's just one of those things where I I bought it because they said he hit his mouth or his face before that or hit the something, the turnbuckle before that. So I was like, okay, good. That sounds like it works. I didn't go back to watch how clean it was, but it was weird, but it was the better. I just think it was the better thing of the night. Moxley's fight with Suzuki was fun, I guess a little bit, but it was just short. It's like for such a tough guy, for such tough men, they had a seven minute match. Yeah, it didn't even say like the crowd was into the ending yeah. either. Like, like the, the crowd, like didn't even really pop for it that much in my, like you, it's his hometown. You would think they'd go crazy since he won, but the match was just kind of a little underwhelming. And I think even the live crowd felt that. Mikel, what's up, man? Happy birthday, brother. Um, and yeah. It felt, like, it felt like Moxley didn't really hit the paradigm shift. It, felt, it seemed like it was more of a suplex. <laughs> well, okay, so wait a minute. So at the end, I saw the replay. And I thought I saw him hit the paradigm shift, but I thought I hit him. I saw him hit a double underhook suplex that was different. Am I wrong? Did he actually? No, was, that's that's what the ending. That looked like what the ending. Oh, was. really? So he like <laughs> hit a double underhook suplex or a fish hook suplex? Yeah, that's I. Yeah. Okay, so live I didn't see that. I thought he actually hit it, but then in the replay it looked like he didn't hit it at all. Like he didn't hit his head at all. Like he, like you said, he flipped him over, and that was all they did. Yeah. It, the match, like the, the matches tonight, didn't even they didn't feel like big fight feel at all, or like any like, just I don't think anything got really progressed besides maybe the Alistair Black stuff and then the Ruby Soho match was okay, and what they did at the end of it, but I don't know. I think the promos tonight and all that stuff kind of saved the night and made it more of an average night. So, yeah, I mean. It, it was just average. It was it was a nice a nice little six out of ten, but I th- I felt I w- I felt you know you could make this night better. You definitely could. I think tonight was the worst case scenario in a way because I I mean I don't think that the show could have been really that bad with Adam Cole like all the people coming for their first time being on Dynamite, but I don't know. But either way, still like around a six six and. A- Yeah, I, I just think that... Yeah, I gave it a six and a half. I think that, you know, it was just everybody was kind of doing their repeat of Sunday. Like, okay, come out and whatever. And I expected that, so I really didn't get bothered by it because I expected it. So I just was, again, I was hoping the main event was something special or something really good, and I was hoping maybe for another good thing. And, you know, that really wasn't it. That's all. It's just I've kind of seen this already, you know, and... That's it. But, I mean, again, it was good. It was nice. Um, didn't you bring this up the other day about, like, you hope you didn't just hope it was all promos tonight? You would, you thought, hope there was, like, some good matches? I thought I heard you bring it up some along the lines of that. Yeah, it's, it's, I said something like, okay, you know, they're going to bring everybody out and everybody's going to have a speech and, you know, they're promoting Punk is going to be there. And it's like, okay, is Punk just going to come out and do another talk, like, rah-rah thing? So probably that. And that was really it. I was just... I, I was worried a little bit, but I didn't spend too much time on it. And I don't know. It just was, but it, again, you know, nice. It's just, you know what it is, is Sunday was so fun and good that 
it's hard to come down from that. So the show tonight isn't going to be like a 9 out of 10 because these guys are here and all these other things. Um, I, I just would have started some stories tonight. I would have treated it like, hey, let's try to r- replicate like the night after WrestleMania 14 type of thing, that vibe of there's a new reset coming and all these crazy stories are going to start. But it was really just kind of like, no, let's just march everybody out there and they'll do the wave that I'm here. And you already know where the stories are kind of going, so we'll just do more of that. And then here's some matches, and they didn't work out the best. So the one thing I did like, one thing I did like is that Suzuki came out on the pay-per-view and, you know, he challenged Moxley, and then that happened. So it was like there was something to look forward to. But the problem with that is for anybody who watched Dynamite last week and they missed the pay-per-view and then they thought, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, what up, Nikki J, the weed god Nikki J. Uh, I'm going to come out, I'm going to go just watch Dynamite on Wednesday and see what happened because I didn't watch it really. You know, they don't know Suzuki and Moxley. They don't even know. So a lot of them probably don't even know Suzuki. So that's kind of weak to them, I guess. So I just think that I would have done, I would have tried to put on an 8 out of 10 tonight. And I feel like they had a good show, thumbs up, yeah. but it was a 6 out of 10. And I just feel like they could have done better with this. I'm nitpicking. I wanted more out of this show tonight. Well, I think, no, I think there's not really that big of a nitpick. So yeah, think about it. You get all these new eyes probably coming in tonight. And you you would think they put on try to put on this a massive show to kind of get people to stick around, because people are gonna see the old Daniels there now, Adam Cole's there, fucking CM Punk's there. You would think now that you got all these three guys showing up, you're gonna get a lot more eyes on the night, and they put on an average show. So it's kind of a little disappointing to me. Yeah, it just it was just a little bit disappointing. Much better than Raw either. Is way. it just me or are they making Adam Cole seem a little bit ridiculous? Yeah. Because um, once again, he came out and he was like, he was like, who wants story time with Adam Cole, baby? How many times are we going to hear baby in one night? Seven times? I think that's more of him doing it, though. I think he's trying to, I, I don't think he's used to being able to say whatever he wants to say. Yeah. You know, right. Of course, he gets the bullet points and stuff that Tony Khan always talks about. Bullet points. You can say whatever you want to say. You know, try to get these points in. So maybe he's got to take some time to get used to the new system. Be like, okay, you know what? I, I gotta, I get to have my own, you know, fun here and stuff. So it might take some time to get grown into it. So. Yeah, maybe since we're getting Cole's first debut match next week, maybe it'll seem nice since he's actually wrestling for the first time. Who knows? Well, um. Did you guys see the Star Trek thing I did? I thought that was kind of funny. Earlier. Yeah. Not everybody saw it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw it, um, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna break over to that for a second. And when I get back, I'm gonna have a little bit of wrestling news. Go over to Corrupted Nation, uh, Corrupted Nation, my other channel, guys. If you haven't, I did a little Star Trek parody thing, and I don't want to mention who's at the end because I thought it was just kind of funny. Um, to I thought it would make people laugh. And so that's why I did it. And um, it's also Star Trek Day, so I thought it'd be funny to do something dumb on Star Trek Day. And I'll be back in a minute with a little bit more uh, wrestling stuff in a second after I uh, play a little clip of that. But you guys can go watch it over on Corrupted Nation. Hopefully it gets a chuckle out of people. It's actually kind of funny about what happens at the end considering what Bullfrog uh, flipped out about earlier. But, um, you know, (laughs) the fact of the matter is is, um, I got to... I spent, this actually took three hours, almost. It took two hours, two hours to do this, <laughs> which is the dumbest thing ever. Like, so earlier when I was, like, done with everything with the kids and everything else, it took me a couple hours just to just to make everybody laugh. And it all started because a while back I was talking to Jake, and I said, me and Jake were talking about how funny it would be if, like, in an episode of Star Trek, this person just showed up and it was like, they were, like, crazy and the reaction of the people on the on the starship, like, what the fuck's this? So that was kind of the joke. I think a lot of people have seen it, but just for the people that maybe didn't, have a little fun with it, and I'll be right back in just a second. Happy Star Trek Day. I'll be right back.
Captain, I'm sorry. I'm detecting tachyon emissions off the port bow. Scan our warp trail to see if there's any other ships that might be following us, Commander. I have a feeling that we have a shadow. It appears you're correct, Captain. There's been a ship mirroring our almost exact coordinates for the last 33 minutes. Henson, come about. Open a channel, Lieutenant. Channel's open, sir. Attention, unknown vessel. We know you're there. We've detected your warp signature. Trailing ours. No response, sir. You have 30 seconds sir. to... Sir, they're powering up weapons. Shields up. Lock onto the firing location and return fire, please. Direct hit, Captain, and they're hailing us. On screen. You guys need to fuck off for the people's lives, man. Get a fucking life. Do your own content and get a fucking <laughs> life. Stop fucking with people. Because I'll fuck with yours as much as you fuck with others. What the devil is that? It's going to be a great episode when it comes out. Whew, thank you. That allowed me to take a piss. Uh, so uh, glad you guys stuck around for the commercial break. As I went to pee-pee, I had to potty really badly. And that uh, little commercial allowed me to pee-pee. So thank you uh, for allowing me to pee-pee. And uh, it is Star Trek Day. One of the things that I enjoyed about Star Trek Day earlier was it's still live right now all over this the Paramount YouTube channel. Uh, is um, they uh, they had these two women who like were like ridiculous and they were like, oh my god, I like Star Trek. And uh, by the way, six. I just gave you the v the VIP in Discord. What up to six? Thank you. But all the people in the chat were fighting, like Voyager's better. Enterprise is better. Star Trek The Next Generation's better. Ah! Ah! Like they all do. <laughs> so, it's, uh... I'm in the chat and I'm list I'm watching people and then they then they would proceed to for 30 minutes talk about oh, I got to unmute the discord I'm sorry. Um talk about rainbow boots and their sex and like sexy stuff and all this weird stuff and people in the chat were like all right like when is the Star Trek stuff going to happen what's all this shit like and people were like you're a bigot and then everybody was fighting about bigots and stuff. You know what I mean? It was crazy. And they were just fighting about what shows are better. And um, they just were fighting about it. Like, oh, Star Trek Discovery is better. And like, it was just like the whole chat was just people just hate each other. And by the way, there was only a thousand people watching live. On YouTube. So on Star Trek Day, there was only a thousand people watching the, the YouTube stream. And it was just filled with negativity that like, oh, you know, half the people were like, I like all Star Trek. And then other people were like, I like this Star Trek. And then some people were like, I love the new Star Trek. And then other people are like, the new Star Trek's woke shit. And the new Star Trek is terrible. 
like it, which it is. The new Star Trek is just rough. And so I was just like watching these people fight, and I'm like, wow, this the the fan base is in disarray, man. We should let these all the people just fight each other somewhere. You know what it is? Is there used to be nerds? There used to be actual people who were nerdy who liked Star Trek. But now it's like there's all these mainstream people who aren't nerdy. They're just like douchebags who like Star Trek. And they're like casuals or something. Or they're, I don't know what they are. They're like all the people who like think they're smart, but they're not smart. Because you're like, okay, like this doesn't work because science. But yet in the new Star Trek, they're like, science, yeah. You know what I mean? So ridiculous. Oh, God, people never understand. All right, I got to get out of here. Shout out to the Discord, but I'm fucking out of here. All people want is just people shitting on each other. That's all people want. Yeah, so-so episode of um, this show tonight. Six out of ten, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go... I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to try to go to bed early and get up with my kids because doing this shit doesn't matter anymore. Doing this shit is just to entertain a bunch of sick people who want to fight me or fuck with me or whatever the fuck. Uh, Vince Russo to WWE. Um, no, nah, I hope Vince Russo falls down a flight of stairs. The guy employs Bill Bahati. A guy who's spent a year attacking me on Twitter and other people. And he's just a fucking idiot fuckhead. So, fuck him. Vince McMahon has killed Triple H. Um, Val G just sent me a message on uh, Twitter that WWE officials had heat over contract situations. Um, I don't, I don't even know what that means. They got heat with people over their contract. I don't know. WWE can't even book their show the right way. I'm not surprised they got fucking heat. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. All right, Bullfrog, I'm going to block you on Twitter now, you idiot. What a stupid idiot. Um, well, someone sent me where they thought Ruby got hurt. Oh my God. I, that is a bot. She, I don't think she got hurt there, but the, Jesus Christ, man, that is a, oh, that is a ball. Oh, maybe not a botch. I don't know what, what the fuck that was, man. AEW totally disrespected the hell out of Suzuki tonight. Let's look. look I want to look at Buffy Egan's tweet. I've been sitting here staring at tweets for the last few minutes. This is an interesting one. Man, AEW totally disrespected the hell out of Suzuki tonight. That was disappointing and very poorly timed. Suzuki deserved at least, I think he said 10 minutes. No, oh, 15 minutes. All week they were building him as a monster. Why the fuck would you cut off... 
Oh, oh, the Kazi Ninar or whatever the fuck they call it. I don't even know what they call it anymore. Yeah, that's like his huge thing, right? That like that's like his whole gimmick is doing that, and the, and the fans reacting to it, and they and they cut it off of Suzuki. I thought that was weird too. That was during the commercial break. Yeah, it was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, dude, what? A, just a waste. It, it was totally a waste. Like, why was this guy here? What the fuck was the point in this guy being here? I don't understand. We jump back into the Discord room. Say goodbye to everybody. What's up, baby? What's up? Yo, what up? What does everybody want? Head. Head. <laughs> so, uh, anybody Both else? Both guy. Oh, Bullfrog to die. Well, you know. he's the so least. Uh, again, we he's can't, we can't speak. We can't speak on that, man, bro. That that drama shit is over with. I don't even know why he even tried to bring that shit to Keep him you, off. Bro. It has nothing to do with you, bro. <laughs> oh, it's weird. I don't understand. Well, that's the thing. I thought he was. I thought he was. He said, "I don't know." I couldn't. I couldn't believe he was screaming at me like he was. I mean, maybe it was a gimmick to, or like a. I guess it was a. <clears throat> I, I'm. I thought maybe it was just to goat me to take his unmute him because he's been muted and he's mad about that so i'm like okay he's goading me in to get him on but he was just saying the most insane stuff that i was like all right this is the craziest shit i've ever seen him say he was like i'm gonna sue you for all the money that sith donates to you i'm gonna sue you for this that and the other thing they told me what you say about me and all these other things and i'm like what are you and he kept going other things he was saying and i'm like i don't what is going on so i i I, he got me. My curiosity was piqued about, okay. And and he's in the Discord with the name that was funny. I thought that was funny. So I'm like, okay, what is this about? And I did not I did not expect to be yelled at. Like, and he's like, where the fucking... Like, I don't know, man. Like, have you... And then where were you? And it's like, what do you mean, where was I? And obviously someone is planted in this guy's head that I just pay attention to anything and everything that happens or something, which is, again, a lie. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I have kid. I have three kids. Like, I really hey, don't... Bro, you have a whole other life to do. Exactly. Just because I pop in once in a while, like, of something somewhere or whatever, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But so, like, it was my fault, but it was fun. Anyways, he, you know, it was fun to flip out. I was, you know... He's an idiot. That's about it, though. What do you guys think about it? Anybody wanted to say anything about AEW that I didn't, we didn't get it to? It was fire. Fire. We liked it. Yeah, we, some of us liked it in here, actually. Well, I mean, I liked it. I liked it. I just didn't. I, I thought it was a six. I didn't think it was like an eight. That's all. Dude, that that MJF yeah, Brian it, Pillman fucking segment was like a nine out of ten alone, yeah. an eight eight point five out of ten. Yeah. That was amazing. That, that was, was the best yeah. fucking vibes. Well, that was the best segment of the night, in my opinion. That was the best thing. That's what I was saying. It was great. Metheny, yeah. Metheny, Metheny, dude. Metheny <laughs> and Preggers. By the way, how come? Yeah. He, how come he's not going to be in trouble for calling someone Metheny and all these other things? But like Max Caster had to stay off TV for two weeks. Like I just I just don't get that. It doesn't make sense to me. Because MJM, MJF fucking draws a crowd, There's draws white. an audience. <laughs> That's why he's I on guess. the fucking main show. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's all that was. What's up, AJ Raider? He can't afford a lawyer, Joe Bishop says. Yeah, that's that because that yeah right. That's all I need, dude. There's no right answer I can have. Everybody just fucking shits on me. When enough people just shit on you left and right, it's like I don't know what the answer is to this. I don't know. I'm a fake. I'm a liar. I'm a scam. I'm a scum. I'm a this. I'm a that. Just you know, like I don't know what to tell you. But then if I tell you something that happened to me about somebody doing something bad to me, you know I'm a liar. So there's no right answer. I can't be right about anything. So I don't give a shit. So Bullfrog needs to, you know, tie a fucking big cement boulder to his legs and jump off cliff. I actually think Bullfrog, even though he's an idiot and I yelled at him, he's not even, like, close to the worst person around. Like, he's just a dumb idiot who runs around with his head cut off. Like, I, I'm not surprised that he called me blaming me for things other people do. That doesn't yeah, surprise people, me. Yeah, people just need to stop, like, planting shit in his head for real. Well, yeah, but then let's... Let's be honest, that's not hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck Bullfrog, dude. Well, he's all right. Listen, I don't even know. I'm not he's worried. looking for clout, man. That's what about what... Ruby Riot tonight? What do you think about that? I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of into her. She's Ruby, she's uh... small, but... I'm, I'm, uh, Ruby, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm like JR. I'm fucking JR. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Copyright. Copyright. Jesus Christ. Sucked. 
I really Who want her uh, is inside my, of me. My Bell's palsy's kicking in or some shit. Well, <laughs> did, well, you got the second dose, so. Dude, I'm not even getting the first dose. What are you doing, Joe? What are you doing? Putting your putting that shit in your body. What hey, you Joe, I have, I have a question for you, Joe. You I don't know, but it's Lee, it's Leah's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think AEW should have like a like a junior heavyweight title? I, you know, I don't know about junior, but I'd like to see like a, a hardcore maybe, because I think the TNT title is kind of like the title that anybody, you know, lightweight, mid card, whatever, could have the TNT title. I would like to see yeah. some kind of a, a hardcore belt. That's me. I don't know. You know, yeah. whatever. We don't need too many more belts, though. We're in trouble if we start adding too many more. Yeah. But that's really it, man. Whew. What up, Paul? Looking sexy with them glasses on. You really look like a goddamn, like, you look like the guy that'd be in the Antifa crowd. Oh, dude. No, oh. no. Don't me, don't mistake me for that. I'm, I'm not a conservative. I'm not a neoliberal. I'm just kind of watching the world burn from afar. I know. Much. But you're like the guy in the back with the mask. You're the guy that throws something in the back. Like, he's not fighting with people, mm. but, like, when no one's looking, you throw the, the stone thing at someone's head. Throwing I guess that's pretty. Hey, I'm the guy jerking off in the corner. Yeah, I guess you could oh. say kind of deal. I'm just waiting to waiting to jizz, waiting for my perfect moment. Uh oh, uh -oh. <sighs> ambulance is coming. Oh, somebody get shot? I did nothing. I swear. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Live from the hood, Ryan the heel. Yeah, and that's my cue to go in the house. Oh, yeah. Not that. <laughs> you got is that is that your fucking is that your fire alarm I'm hearing beeping? Is that what that beep is? What is that beep? Beep? Oh, I don't know the beep. It might have been them. Those are police sirens. <laughs> they saw yeah, they saw a black guy. They were like, oh. No, a ball. Duncan Chino? Don't mind if I hey. do. What's my name? Duncan Chino. It's a whole new game. Duncan Chino. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Suzuki Gun Ichiban. Oh, Suzuki Gun Ichiban. Oh, yeah, I liked him too. He was really good. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, Suzuki. I, I do got to play the donos. There's another one. Let me get this other one. Yeah, and you know what, though? That match, it just should have been longer. I can't believe with that build right. and how, like, mm -hmm. this is the main event, and he's here, Suzuki, and everybody was freaking out. Like, and then they just did that. I just I'm still can't believe that that was it. Yeah. That I mean, nah, dude, somebody boring. fucked up that. They don't fuck up often, <laughs> but to me, that was a fuck up. Like, somebody... You know, Did they not secure any video from New Japan to show some of like the his like back matches from years past, like some of his great moments or anything? Because well, I didn't know shit about the guy. I'm not going to fucking Google yeah. him. Like, Yo, show, I, I, show some shit. They should have started the show with that, to be honest, before they whatever. Yeah. But honestly, I'm glad they didn't now because if they had, it would have been a waste because that match wasn't worth the shit. So, right. I mean, what? Yeah, the hype would have been. Yeah, it would have been even more of a letdown if it, they would have like kind of yeah. hyped them up. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. It's smoke up time. Smoke up with the shark. Oh look at that. Lights his house on fire. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, look at that bong. Joe Bishop tipped $25. Oh, no. Sup? <laughs> Joe Bishop. Thank you for the $25, <laughs> Joe Bishop. And look what you did to Paul 3 and fucking Ryan the Eel. Um, it glows in the dark, Joe. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a Rick and Morty. Dude, I haven't had stuff like that. I, I, I like I'm so lame man. I haven't had stuff like that since I was in like since I was like 18 or 19 like yeah. other than all I ever smoked after like 19 years old or 20 years old was probably like just blunts with my friend I'd be like all right or with whoever yeah. blunts that's it like but yeah. when I was 19 and 20 you know I went I had to go into Boston to the hookah store or whatever and we would and now I can just walk down the street dude in the fucking place they like sell the craziest shit, dude, and it's all there. Just like, yeah, you yeah. Can... I got some granddaddy perp right now. 
Do you? Is it? It's legal where you are right now. Uh, pretty much, yeah. In like the D.C. area, it is. Can you get a it's ticket? It's legal or... in the hood. It's always been legal in the hood, dude. Oh yeah, well, oh yeah. In, in the hood, it's cheaper in the hood. <laughs> well, yeah, you really don't have to worry about too much there. But when you start traveling around, that's when you got to worry about the cops, like you know, being stupid. Yeah, because in, in our yeah, because <laughs> in our state we can only carry like eleven grams up to. Yeah, yeah, so that's not bad, though. And, you know, honestly, if, even if you have a little more, you know, usually the cops will cut you a break or they'll write you a ticket or something, you know, but they're not going to, you know, they're not going to do what they used to do not that long ago, which is fucking take you to jail. It's like, that was... Right, yeah. That shit was crazy. Like, it was like, what are the fucking putting people in jail for this? Like, the yeah, dumbest. Sure. Did you just donate to Joe? Oh. Did you just oh. donate to Joe? <laughs> Yikes. Thank you for the donation. Shane Fisher, what's and up? Because you donated, Yo. I'm going to feast myself in the bunghole. <laughs> wow, thank you, uh, sexy pants Shane Fisher. He says, ain't got much because I'm running that biatch hurricane Ida. Oh, you're you're still running from the bitch. Uh, Hurricane Ida, but you deserve it. Was Hobbs legit concussed as F or what? Really, dude? Like mm. I thought maybe something was up too. So you're telling me, fuck, dude. So you're telling me like people thought Ruby Riot was hurt. People said Hobbs was concussed, which I don't know if Hobbs was concussed. You're right. I didn't even notice that. I I didn't really notice that either, to be I, honest. Yeah. yeah, I had no idea. That's crazy. You can thank Ronald Reagan with the war on it drugs. Yeah. <laughs> If he got hurt, it was because he fell, like, back on his own. It wasn't from Dante Martin, I'll tell you that. It was, like, 190. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Unless he yeah. kicked him in the head or something that I didn't see. Right. I will be in your music video all day, Clam Baked. I love you, and if you ever need a drummer, you remember to call me. Um, I will, I'll dive through a window or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ronald Reagan started the war on drugs, or as they call it, the war on brown people. Um... Yep. But uh, it's the banks. They gave the country to the banks. It it really went to hell CIA. with Reagan. Yeah, the CIA, the even the FBI, but the CIA especially. And dude, you know, we we don't want to get into this, right? Everybody, I mean, come on. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, they gave the they gave the country to the banks. You know, Bush went to the Middle East. Then Clinton did all the weird shit behind the scenes, and then we went back to war in the Middle East for some weird reason, and. Uh, then you got the behind the scenes stuff again, pretty much, and right on the open, some of the stuff Obama did, and then uh, Trump came in like to this mad world as a, as a Joker type, and did whatever. Honestly, not too much really, but uh, then now Biden's here, and it's just that back to the old weird shit. Like, I mean, dude, there's so much. It's just we haven't had a good president. I mean, we need we're we're fucked. This country is run by psychos. Yeah, that's really what it comes down For to. Real. The only, but we're just swapping out one thing for another. They're going to put a bunch of people in jail for goofy shit now because if they stop putting people in jail for weed, now they're going to have to put you in jail for, like, hate speech or thought speech or something. That's coming next. So mm -hmm. that's the way they'll fill up the jails now, and they'll be like, see, weed's cool now. Like, it's okay. <laughs> it's just like, dude, this There's sick. pedophiles who pay fines. And yeah, pedophiles get out. They don't fucking like. They barely care they, about they them. Pay, yeah, they pay fines. Yeah. They'll pay like you know, like a six hundred, seven hundred dollar fine or something like that, and like, you know, reach a plea deal. They're not even on Megan's list, and you know, it's I'll fucked be up. Back yeah, in you an get hour. caught for a little bit of weed, and you're you're done. It sucks. I'll be out in an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have the have the Winnebago ready. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you'll be out in an hour. I'll blow you. What the hell did Leah's sister come over here at nine o'clock at night? What is she? What is she doing? Wait, I'm watching her come up the stairs. Oh, she just put something in the mailbox. Oh, and then she gave the finger to the camera. The cunt. What the? Kara, if you're watching this, you fucking goddamn bitch! I saw you give me the finger. You fuck. I have cameras. Did all she leave? I have well cigarettes. Oh. So Leah ran out of cigarettes. Had her sister bring her cigarettes. What a fucked up. Yeah, those say. Those what? cigarettes are bad for you, Leah. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, what a fucked up family. What, you got the fucking, you got the goddamn jab, but you're going to smoke cigarettes that come, you know? I bet Leah smokes cigarettes with the windows up in the car, with the kids in the car, too. No, huh? my oh. God, no. Right? No. What, you put the air conditioner that, on, it's all good. There was that, I think YR once said that years ago, but no, that's not true. She wouldn't smoke near the kids. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely not. But she does blow smoke into Finn's face. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, yeah, no. yeah. That's why no. he's. That's why he's a little. That's why he's like than the that. Rest of them. Yeah. No. Actually, he's bigger. He's like on the like 90th percentile for five year olds. He's like, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's only five. He fits in a seven year old clothes. Like it's very weird, dude. My youngest son is huge. Apparently, he was crying at school today, at kindergarten, because, like, they had everybody line up to wash their hands, and the kids mm-hmm. took forever to line up to wash their hands, and he got right. He was right away right there to wash his hands. So I guess he washed his hands like super fast, and then he sat down, and then I guess he was looking around. And then the teachers, the teacher was like, he, he, she called us actually to be like, he's okay. He had a moment where he cried and everything. He cried because he sat down and he, and he started crying. And when the teacher was like, what's wrong, little guy? What's, what's wrong with you? And he was like, nobody wants to sit with me. No one's going to sit with me. And, and she's like, oh no, they're all just washing their hands still. They're going to all be sitting here in a minute. You, you know? And I'm like, well, did he, what he, he probably didn't wash his hands right then. <laughs> But no, it was. I guess he did, but he just got there early. I don't know. But I was. I thought that was, was he wearing a mask. He what? No, um, yeah, the kids are. Yeah, the kids are wearing a mask. Uh, yeah, 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 it sucks. The PA, they have, all have to wear a mask, so that probably makes it even worse. You can't even have that face-to-face contact with your friends or anything like that. So. You know, it's, as a five-year-old, as it's, a five-year-old, it you know, works. It's but it's weird. like, dude, it's so sad because it's. Well, I'm just mad because I'm selfish, and I grew up. I couldn't wait to have kids, man. And so I want to experience and see my kids have fun and be in school and with the, you know, so it does, it fucks with your head that like, they like, why couldn't this happen to me? Like when I was little or something, why does this happen to have happened to my kids that they have to worry and they're all getting, kids are getting COVID left and right. So it's like, it just sucks, man. Like, why is this happening? to Why the hell did this happen at this point? Or like, why not when my kids were all like 22 did then this happen? That way they don't have kids, they're old enough and you know they you know it just sucks. Anyway, I signed Gavin up for baseball so he's got baseball on the weekend and that'll be fun and I can yell at a bunch of kids. Uh Oh, you're a total sports dad. I can see that. Oh, you yeah. in the stands fucking screaming. Dude, Listen, that's Billy. Backwards hat. Get him out of there. Yeah. Be Get him out of there. <laughs> Fighting other dads. <laughs> What up, Chelsea's in the chat? Wow, oh, flip flop. I, I mean, uh, Chelsea, what's up? Uh, what happened to Monica? I don't know what happened to Monica. I have no idea. He died. Somebody probably told her to hate me. That's probably what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know bang, where bang, she bang, is, bang, man. Michael, Michael, what's going up, brother? Happy birthday. Uh, oh, Michael. How you doing? I did, I, man, man. His mom was on the call earlier. Like oh, you didn't want you didn't like it. You didn't like the main event. Yeah, no, I didn't like the main event either, man, because it was too short. I mean, I thought it was like nice. It was good. It just can't be. It's impossible for that main event to me to be good because it was too short. I just think how, how can this like it was good if you, but where was the other five minutes of it? You know, Agent okay. Um, uh, he, uh, he, he will go, go walk in New Japan. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they didn't even care about New Japan, it felt like. And listen, I'm, I haven't watched New Japan too much, so it's been like, you know, it's been a month. A bit, it's, been a, it's been a while, you know. What else did you? Uh, what else did dog you? Dog shit right now. Who's who's shitting what? Uh, dog shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. He's got shit. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking funny. Uh, poor Jake DeMarco. Yeah, he's not feeling good, man. He's all fucked up. Uh, thank you to oh, D Welsh for being the top dog. Thanks guys for being uh for you know. Again, supporting the show and being fun with me. Um, again, sorry that Bullfrog called and I let him go on the rant and I went and ranted on him, but it was, I thought, I actually kind of had fun. I thought it was very cathartic, you know, or whatever. Like, I thought it was very nice. And CM Punk with the blue jeans tonight, looking oh. sexy, you know, with the gray beard. Yeah. He looks like a meth addict, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he- 
He has a stomach of like a woman who just had a kid. It's kind of oh. like flabby at the bottom. Like it's all like, yeah, stretch like mark and flabby at the bottom. Mm, yeah. Like a C section? Yeah, yeah, Thunder. sort of. I love Thunder Rosa. Star. Thunder Rosa is my thing. Oh, Thunder Rosa is the okay. shit. Yeah, dude, nice she's amazing. Bumper. God damn! <laughs> you ever looked on her Instagram, dude? It's like a fucking whatever they call it. What do they call it? A thirst trap or something like that? It's a yeah, fucking. That's yeah, what's yeah. a weird fucking thing to say, by the way, when they say that. <laughs> like thirst trap. Like what the? <laughs> like like they, like it used to be you're a slut, but now it's like thirst trap. Like you're like yeah, like like you know what I mean. It used to be like oh this girl's a slut. Now it's oh yeah. you like my thirst trap. It's like what? Fuck. Oh, man, like you just trap me. That. That's yeah, worse than that. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's trapping all the simps out there, dude. There's a bunch of idiots who will pay money for whatever shit she's putting out. She could probably put out like an ass poster, an ass calendar, or something, and like oh, sell like hundred thousand dollars worth of ass calendars. Right. Because there's so oh, many yeah. simps out there. Yeah. And more yeah. power to them. Fuck. I'd buy. You know, I. I mean, there ain't many too too many women. I'd be like, you know, I'd I want to look at that because I don't. I'd care. buy you one for Christmas. Yeah. Jamie Hader, I'd look at her. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Hader's ring cool. alone, like how it has like the the straps on her ass crease. It's like oh, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> there. She Brad did look. Tight. She Brad looks pretty tight. hot, dude. She's like <laughs> Becky Lynch on steroids. Yeah, I was there the night that she debuted, and like we were like, what the fuck? I thought it was Becky Lynch, and I was in the crowd. I was like, what what the fuck is what? that? I'm... Oh God. Jar has his fucking phone up his asshole or something. No morning wood. I did not know what Bullfrog was doing. I still don't know what he was doing. By the way, did you guys notice you couldn't even hear what Bullfrog was saying when he called? He was screaming and he was just breaking up. It was like... That was hilarious. Ah, he blew his lungs, he blew his lungs out earlier. Yeah, he, he blew cried. his fucking head, like, head off. He cried, yeah. He cried like a grown man. And people are telling me that people are... And he's like screaming at me. He's like, I got, I got, I still have messages from him. He's like, I, dude, I don't even know what this means. He's like, I'm going to sue you. I didn't vote for Biden, Joe, you piece oh of shit. God. And he's screaming. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck does that mean? Like, uh, like, I, I know you, what the fuck does that matter? Like, he's people so weird. Like, a Democrat. he's a, people were calling him a Democrat. Oh, people were calling him that. Well, that's yeah. Okay, so he's triggered by. So yeah, he's blaming me for what people are saying in the chat about him. It's like I didn't even do that. I don't even know what you're talking about. I know he's you a Trump person. He's a mongoloid. It. Yeah. You anyway. have nothing to do with it though. Like absolutely nothing to do. Listen, with if I saw someone trolling on. him bad enough, they'd be. I banned a lot of people in the chat that were doing bad stuff. You know, yeah. like so. I don't know. He's just fucking. In, I think he knew. He obviously knew what he was doing to get on the show. I mean, mm. he, he got. He got me. Let me. Uh, you know. I, I got oh, soccer. Yeah. I, I, he's get, a troll. Oh, yeah. He's a troll who gets off on airplay, and you give it to him. I gave he, it to him. Yep, yeah. that's what he wanted. Yeah, I know. It's but disgusting. you know what? But he's so it's stupidly dangerous. harmless to me that it's like it doesn't bother me. It's you know what I mean, like people are, yeah. who are really dangerous. Like I wouldn't ever put on my show. People I think that are really dangerous, I wouldn't put them on my show anymore ever. And I don't. There are people that I would never have on here. But it's like he, he's just so stupid that it's like just okay. Go ahead. What what kind of dumb shit is this going to be? But yeah, um, Rostoff asked. Rostoff has asked if he's coming through. Oh, I just heard him right there. But yeah, I was telling Rostoff earlier. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get an AEW review tonight. And uh, but I thought Rostoff would have been a perfect <laughs> fill-in for for Jake. Well, but, um, I, I mean, I did. Wasn't working. I, you know, I did 45 oh. minutes. You know, we had 45 minutes of a review, and then Bullfrog called and fucking sidetracked Fuck the whole up. goddamn thing. I fucking hate Bullfrog. I'm Bullfrog coming out with a new. I'm coming out with a show called hate. Sidetracked. By the way, it's gonna be crazy. Hail Bullfrog tonight. I guess. Sidetracked Holy and shit. then make a sequel called Derailed. No, it's just just sidetracked. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. sorry it's just sidetracked, and I'm gonna be holding a big track up in the air, and I'm gonna throw it. Yeah. <laughs> look yeah. At, look, look at Daniel no, Bryan's t-shirt. Did you talk about Platinum Max really tonight? I, I heard you say it was kind of weird. Yeah, I said like his that. his acting was kind of weird in the back. He was like stuttery and like, hey, I don't know, like is he like almost he, like he wasn't confident about white, it. His white side. I think was he was. <laughs> I think he was trying to get um, Brian Pillman Jr. to flinch too, legitimately, like when he won Adam. Uh, yeah, and then get a reaction. Yeah. 
it didn't, someone did, that someone didn't no look good it, either. No sold it. Yeah, yeah it's like, nah, so that was awkward. That was also, the whole thing was awkward, I gotta be honest. And what's weird is I'm like, the minute I saw Max Caster, I'm happy and I'm rooting for him. I'm like, hell yeah, okay, what's what's gonna happen here? I love these guys. And then Caster just kind of like, like it was very lame. It was like, it's weird because all the memorization of the raps and coming out and being like, yo, everybody know that. But then when he's in the back screaming at Pillman, he's just kind of like, yeah, just that you know, like it was like he was a different person. It was weird. It was like, wait a minute. I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, we we basically are. We really are living bullfrog free, Sith Negan. I mean, we really are. But you know oh, what I mean. Yeah. But but nobody really wants to, you know. what I mean, if Bullfrog does something else somewhere for seven hours, you'll all be there laughing at him or watching it or yelling at him or something. Like nobody, I don't know if anybody really wants to live Bullfrog free. But you know, but I agree, he is basically gone. He wasn't even supposed to be on. I just unmuted him because he said he was going to sue me and stuff. I was like, what? What the hell? So I mean, I I think I might have to show his brother the stuff he says about his uh, aunt, and I might have to leak all of his DMs and videos. I mean, I might have to do that. I mean, I don't care what he says. Um. Shout out to Jesse. Um, probably neutered him, says Trey Walter. I mean, maybe. But he they gave him a lot of screen time, though. For, remember, everybody was like, oh, he's going to be fired. And it's like he comes back on Dark, comes back on the main show. Oh, no, and then comes back on the main show tonight and gets a spot where he's on TV on, on this precious airtime, and he got it. So I'm happy he got it. I hope he does better going forward. I love these guys. I love their intro. Love the gimmick. I like to see this gimmick keep going because it's fun. So cool. I just... It was just a little a little weird in the backstage tonight. That's it. Mikel, what are you eating? Uh, bugs? <laughs> oh, no, he's smoking. Oh, look at that cat. Look at that pussy. I just got her like three months ago. Or not three months. Uh, like, she's three months old, but I wow. got her. Wow. Like... She looks super soft and pretty. Yeah, she has stripes, too, if you can like, oh. see them a little. Meow. This is I never had a cat in my life until this past year, having this cat for a year now with my son getting it. And uh this I don't know, man. I like animals, so like it's I never liked cats really. I never wanted a cat, didn't you know, just not whatever. But yeah. you know, now now I love the cat. Now I really yeah. love the cat. So <laughs> WWE is causing Triple H to get heart surgery. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the thing everybody's saying, no doubt. I wonder if it is that. I wonder if it's do I wonder what do you think like don't wouldn't I wish I could really know why Triple H's heart is like it is. Did he get covid and it affected it? Did he get the jab and it affected it? Is it just what would have happened anyway because of his size and stuff? Is it from past usage? You know, is it com nothing to do with anything just his just coincidence it's age. Could it be the stress? Is it the stress? Is he really does care about NXT? Oh yeah. You know, I don't know what the. I wish I. I wish we could find out what really is causing this with Triple H. You wouldn't think he would be dealing with something like this. Yeah. I just hope Triple. I all seriousness, like we didn't really say it much tonight, but man, we hope Triple H is okay. Unfortunately, I cut a promo about him the other night, which uh, was awkward. <laughs> like. Oh damn! Because <laughs> I was like, you fucking, you know, take your nose and all this other stuff and whatever. But then, um, and by the way, WWE fixed everything, so shout out to them. Uh, but not on the recent video. I still have to fix something there. But yeah, he's in the hospital. I don't know if he's get so he's getting surgery. They're saying he's getting surgery, or he already had it. I got the surgery, and he's like recovering now. Let me go look it up. I gotta, dude. I gotta know what. I don't know if they're saying. Did they say exactly what it was? Like that they had to go in and put a stint in, or that he had a clogged issue, or. Like a heart tissue or heart issue. That's all they said. Was a heart genetic issue. heart issue. Oh, yeah. Triple H undergoes heart surgery after cardiac event. That's all they say, though. It was noted the operation was needed after a cardiac event, which was caused by a genetic heart issue. Okay, so there you go. It's a genetic heart issue. So it's something in his yeah. genes that they knew about. Right. Triple H expected to make a full recovery. Okay, thank God. That's way more reassuring like that's way more yeah. reassuring yes my Mikel. I don't 
I hate the Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah, holy. Okay, so basically, Mikkel, what just happened is you you spoke, but half of what you said came through the microphone, and the other half was dead. So even though it's hard to understand you anyway, I actually couldn't even hear you because it, it cut out. Say that again. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it happened again it happened again you're seeing this right he's talking and it cuts him off halfway through yeah oh my god Miguel, you poor fuck uh, i'm sorry Miguel. i love you yeah, oh boy. should hold signs there you like go Sandy Guevara. yeah draw it on a sign no go ahead go ahead Miguel. okay Oh, Kevin Owens going to uh, AEW? No, don't know that. We don't know that. Yeah, I mean, he might be going in January. That's when his contract's up, but we don't know where he's going to go. But, yeah, his, his contract up apparently is in January. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. There's no way in fucking hell he is going to re-sign with WWE. Excel, thanks for subbing. Yeah, I don't. I can't believe it, dude. They do, like, nothing with him. They bring him out there for whatever. I mean, maybe he's happy because, dude, he'll get more time with his family going to AEW. So he's already made a bunch of money, right? He's already made, like, the guy has probably, all right, the guy. right, let's say the guy has a million to two million in the bank. Kevin Owens probably has a million or two in the bank. Yeah, probably. He's done all easy. Right. So he's got that and maybe more, you know, and so now you go to AEW and you make, Whatever he makes there, two hundred thousand dollars, whatever. So, yeah. and he gets to spend all the time with his family. Gets to be there for, you know, to make another four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars. And even if he walked away fully from wrestling in three years, he'd walk away with you know at least a million or so in his account. I mean, right. yeah, maybe you'd like That's to have inevitable. a little more. That'd be sick. Yeah. <clears throat> It's definitely inevitable. He he's going to AEW, and then um, Wyndham. We got to get used to calling him Wyndham Rotunda instead of Bray Wyatt now. So. Or something else. Yeah. I mean, he may come up with a name like. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never know. But he like, said he's going by Wyndham Rotunda right now. Okay, so yeah, maybe he will just Ooh. be that. But if um, yeah. it's like, dude, if somebody said to me, Joe, you know, you can, you're gonna have two million dollars in your bank account make $200,000 a year and you're going to get to see your family like four to five days out a week for sure. Like if not yeah. more, cause I think his house is in Florida, I believe. Oh, yeah. So he's yeah. already in Florida. So yeah. So I mean, listen, you gotta, you have to travel to a W on Wednesday, maybe mm -hmm. on a Friday, but for the most part, it's, you know, you're needed one or two days a week and the rest of the time you can be with your family so yeah you that's a no you're gonna be like fuck yeah like if someone told me uh, you have a million dollars and now you oh my god you just i'd be like this is the shit <laughs> i mean i'm already lucky now i am lucky right now that i get to live like i live in my house for the most part other than like sometimes when i'm doing a part-time job or another job where i I get to be in my house. Like, my kids are upstairs. I saw them today. I saw them yesterday. I saw them today. Like, I'm very lucky where I am. I mean, the only right. thing only thing I hope to do is I want to pay off my taxes to get that done. So that's out of – I'm scared about that. Get that taken care of. And then I want to make sure that I can start saving money for my kids when they get older with, like, whatever they need. So that's what that's my right. worry right now. I'm in that problem. Um, but – I'm close to being able to like, it's like a little bit, I need another job or this has to blow up better or something like that. So like we're close, yeah. but, but yeah, so dude, you and me both. Yeah. You everybody. Me both, brother. We need to, I need to stay inside, dude. <laughs> I think you're bound to go viral with something soon. I'm talking like millions oh, yeah. and millions of views. Like it's really just a matter of time. Like well, I would keep making those hilarious videos, like the Biden thing you made on corrupted. Did you see like, the Biden video? Or... That's gone somewhat yeah, viral. It blew it blew up. What the fuck, dude? I'm looking at it right now. Do you know it's getting uh, 2,000 views an hour? Holy oh, shit. shit. It's at, it, it says 28,000 views on the video, but it's not. It's at 40,000 right now. 
That's what I'm talking about, dude. You That's need to crazy. Do more shit like that. Great at that. I, f- I forget what it was last. It was something with real American or something last. The, ra- uh, the racist the- American? The, the fucking. Yeah, during the protest or something you did, but that was like kind of like semi viral too. Do I have the chroma last- key on? I what? don't know. But that what was. You need to do more skits like that, more v- short videos that are hilarious. Like That's that. how my old right. channel used yeah, to be. That's where the views are at. Short video. Star Hell. Star oh. Hell is pretty. I'm not even a Star Trek fan. Star Hell is hilarious. I right. think the only thing with Star Hell is if you don't know who Alien Man is, it's not. You don't get it. You're like, what the fuck's this? Like, if but but but, but for a wider audience, if I'd put a meme or like some weird, or maybe even like Biden fucking up or like Alex Jones ranting or something, then <laughs> like that could have been funny and people would have got it. But I think a lot of people that are watching it are like. They're coming from the Biden video. They're like, well, what else does this guy do? And then they click on that and they're like, what the fuck? What's this? Dude, this has 245 comments on it. By the way, this started today, just today. It wasn't really viral-ish the other day. It wasn't, I don't think, it was like doing okay, but it wasn't, you know, it had like 3,000 views or something. And then all of a sudden today, it's blowing up. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Hey, Carlos919, thank you for reminding me. It was the Batman video that you did. Oh, that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was really good. That still gets views every day. It's like... I, I shared that personally. Well, you're doing like, numbers, that then. That's players. good, then. You're Watch it. Numbers. Biden does put the mask back on, though. It's wicked funny. Watch for the people that didn't see this on my other channel. And I'm wearing this fucking mask because And I... yes, I was kind of doing Mr. Plinkett, which I, <laughs> I, I wish I had said that because people are like, oh, it's Mr. Plinkett. I'm like, yeah, I was kind of... I was sort of playing homage, but it's funny because when I did it, I was like, that sounds like Mr. Plinkett. So I changed it a little bit, but I really was yeah. doing it. So I should have just gone full Mr. Plinkett and been like, I like this fucking Matt. Like, but I, I didn't, I sort of variated it a bit. And Luke Rojas is out there jerking off somewhere. I don't want to get oh. coronavirus. Yeah. Let me lean in and talk to you and take my mask off. Yeah, breathe into me and I'll talk into your face so I don't get coronavirus. I'll put the mask down near my chin. Now I'm going to walk into this fucking empty field and put the mask on. That's right. I'm going to wear the mask into the empty field, but I'm going to put the mask down when speaking to several people in the media, and I don't know where they've been. America is fucking stupid. I'm stupid, and you're all stupid, and now I'm going to walk into the empty field with my mask on. (laughs) <laughs> he puts his mask on as he walks into an empty field. That's the funniest thing. I don't care what anybody says. He's leaning into the reporters like, what'd you say? Oh, yeah, let me tell you. And then he turns around and goes in the empty field, and he puts the mask over his face. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you wearing a mask? <laughs> oh, he's, seven, he's 78 years old. Like, what do you expect? Oh, my God, bro. And and I'm telling you, be at seventy eight. And the video, on, <laughs> the video is getting two thousand views an hour still. I just looked at it. Like, what the fuck? Uh, it's fucking uh, awesome, man. Good though. It's good. It's it's yeah. fun when that stuff takes off. I mean, that's that channel is demonetized, so I don't do a lot on it. But I'm glad that people. I actually, I got to be honest, dude. This how ha- I didn't notice it trending. Sort of not trending. It's just like a little. It's a mini viral thing. It's like a little bump, but it's like, yeah. dude. I had finished the Star Trek thing and uploaded the Star Trek thing. And while I was looking at the Star Hell thing and whatever, and I was looking around and stuff like that, that's when I, I did a double take and went, whoa, what the fuck? There's over 100 comments on this video. And that's when I saw, oh, shit, it's at fucking 30,000 views. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This was at nothing earlier today. So I was like, wait a minute. So this hit me right as I was watching AEW and I had just done the Star Trek thing. So, yeah, man, th- it's pretty cool when... You know, it looks like, you know, probably 27, at least, or actually at least about 33,000 people have seen this video and it made them laugh. And so that made me happy today, man. It made me happy. I mean, for 1.1 thousand people to like the video and only have 24 down votes. I mean, that means that a lot of people laughed at that. And so I think that's funny, which is, that makes me feel good. I was happy that a lot of people laughed. Like that that was the point. That was yeah, 24 make, hours, too. Those are good numbers. Even if you like if you like Biden, more. if you like Biden, it's funny. Even if you like Biden, it's funny. There's funny shit that Trump yeah. did. Even if you even if you like Trump, even if you hate Trump, you like Trump, there's funny stuff he did. If you hate or like Biden, this is fucking hilarious. The guy wears a mask into an empty field. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. You should be able to laugh at both sides. I mean, come on. We're all just fucking specks in the middle of a fucking black galaxy of nothing. Oh, my God. I thought you said something. Uh, I thought you said we're all... I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> No, no, no. This isn't the Gargut show. Again, this is not the Gargut show. I've been hanging out with Ryan the Heel and Rostoff all night. No, no, no. I'm not saying any of that shit. Oh, my uh, God. No, we're, we're all nothingness, dude. Anybody gets caught up in that shit or fucking pathetic worms. Like I'm really starting to get into the we're like light and vibe because everything's a vibration. I know that's crazy, but like everything really is vibrating on a like a vibrating like on a wavelength. Like for real, that's really happening. Everything. Like yeah. so, it's like, dude, I'm really caught up in like, fuck, we are vibration, which is light, and like that's what everything really is. It's fucking crazy if you look into it. I won't say get into it here, but you know, we could do a whole stream on it. It's crazy. It's very mathematical. Nice. Yeah, no doubt, dude. It's just uh, Ristoffa was spitting some fucking knowledge earlier. Like I said, though, about like. I don't know, like, giving some advice to a, a white guy. I know it sounds woke as fuck, and I'm not trying to, like, say any of that, but <laughs> he, was just kind of, he was just kind of explaining it really, really well about, like, like how you have to be kind of in with the black crew or, like, any sort of, like, race to make any kind of, like, jokes about them, because if you're not, you're just going to get, like, instantly canceled. I thought that was pretty, well, good, you pretty can, good knowledge. But to be honest, like, you could be in trouble even if you are in with people. Like, I mean... You can still Billy be in trouble. Crystal. Yeah. Billy Crystal was like in with the black crew or something like that, apparently. I don't know. Really? That's what he was saying. That's, that's it. That was his well, example. I don't think his mic is working. That's why Howard Stern got away with a lot of stuff back in the day because he would, and I, he would like, you know, he would like say, oh, we, we have, he would have gay people on all the time, be like, I love the gays, I love the blacks, I love the blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, he would say the F word and the N word and stuff like that, which is, again, I don't think he, I don't care because I don't think he was a racist. I think he was just fucking being shocking. So I understand. And so didn't the black listeners. So didn't the white listeners. Once in a while, I remember there was a black guy. I remember a black guy called. He said, you can't say that, Howard, you motherfucker. You should come down the station. And I love you, Howard, but you shouldn't. And the guy was actually mad at him. You know what I mean? It was funny as fuck on, like, on the radio. But he was like, what do you mean I can't say I can't say that. I got called. They used to call me when I was in school. I don't usually. Uh, and, they, and they would fight about things like that. But it's like yeah, you couldn't do that now. Howard had Howard had the king of all blacks. He had angry black. He had he had a bunch of black. You know, Robin Quivers. Yeah, he was a, that, well, that's what I'm black, saying. His co-host so. was black, so he could. He's like, well, I'll never get in trouble. Exactly. Because uh, I love this is, that was his shit out. Bomb. Why would I have Robin here with me? You become. Uh oh, here it comes. A shit bomb. Paulie three, my FKN bruder. Michael, what Ooh. up, my N word? What up, Randy Viper? Love you, Randy. Oh, that's a great point, Rob Harrington. We have to sink our minds and hearts on a positive level to ascend to a higher consciousness. Like, I know it sounds crazy for anybody who's just like, whatever. But if you look into this stuff, it's it's I'm dead serious. Like, the vibrations and everybody thinking the same way or on a vibration and coming together, we would reach another plane of Please existence. Please share my serious. latest post. Just post Woo! it. The Rock and Paul White exchange words. Well, what's up, Botch Club? How you doing, man? Um, let me go check it out. Yeah, so like that's when we would graduate graduate to like the the fifth dimension, the fourth dimension, uh, whatever. There's a whole bunch of shit we, we've talked about it on Final Frontier, and I've talked about it on other podcasts. But I will I will totally do a one hour thing on that at some point. It's so it's so weirdly interesting. Fuck, I can't play this botch club. I just I just spent a week with the WWE lawyers about something just like this. Fuck, I'll yeah. play the audio though. Ask. Cover the rocks, candy. What? Ridiculous. No, I believe this. Rock, rock. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you're overreacting. This guy is a retard. He's a retarded idiot. <laughs> we don't know what he's gonna do. The Rock I, doesn't even know what he's gonna do. Dad. He doesn't know what he's gonna do is right. He's gonna do what I'm gonna tell him. Okay, I own him. If he doesn't do what I tell him, I'll send him back to the damn loony bin. That's where he belongs. Oh, well, there's millions of fans out there. We don't know what this idiot is gonna do. Just leave it in my hands. You're looking at the Rock like you're part retarded. <laughs> the Rock will slap the taste out of your mouth. Do you understand what the Rock is saying? Listen, I understand that if you screw up, I'm going to cover your candy ass. See, they could never say that. And what's funny about that is back then, even in the 90s and in the late 90s and the early 2000s, you know, the mm. WWE brought in special needs kids and stuff like that and, and, and special needs people and, and people who were mentally ill or mentally disabled and things like that. And, you know, they still, you know, made jokes like that because that was the product and who, whatever. 
But dude, can dude, you do you remember when the fucking little special the special Olympian fell over the rail? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Like, Shawn Michaels. Special yeah, they were Olympian. like trying to get him over as a baby face, and I, it wasn't really working. So they like they went to that shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what happened was? Oh no, that special Olympian fell over the rail. Well, what he won his uh, thing that he won was he was the best guy to clean up the bathroom the quickest. No. That's what he was. Uh, he was the best with the mop. I heard. But no, it's like now if you did that, you'd be like canceled and you'd be kicked off the whole thing. And they, you know, they'd be like, we are the make a wish and all this. What you can't say that like it would just be like it's like, dude, they did. We have kids that come and it's like, yeah, they, they came in the 90s, too, in the 2000s. There were there were there was somebody that you gave tickets to probably in the crowd when you made the retard joke. It's like so it doesn't. Like, who? Ca- it's not you're not calling a special needs person a retard. That is horrible. Like, unless it's part of the show where you worked it or whatever. But, like, you wouldn't go up to a special needs person and say that or say that to somebody. But I, but then, you know, I get the arguments that, like, people make fun of them in school and stuff like that. Now they're seeing the heroes on TV and they're calling somebody that. But I don't understand why you can't just tell everybody, like, listen, people call each other names all the time. It doesn't mean the word's bad or it doesn't mean that you're bad or anybody else is bad. You know what I mean? You call someone a bitch, you call someone this, that, and the other. I don't know. So the yeah. argument could be made, but... As long as you're not calling some special needs person that, that's, I mean, that'd be terrible. If you were like, oh yeah, oh yeah, right? Like, that's fucked up. Or like, you know, or even joking weirdly. So, you know, that's, I just, you know, Paul Paul White and The Rock calling someone a retard, each other a retard or whatever. I don't know, man. I just, I, that does not bother me. And I will never accept that if it bothers somebody out there, like, it's just, I don't know, man. That will never bother. That's just the way it was. Dude. Yeah, I in just, the late nineties, two thousand, dude. Jericho called Stephanie McMahon a trash bag hoe. So, like, that's just how it was. You know, back in the day, you could use like more brutal insults on like more of a, like a kind of like a broader plane on t- television. And it was also a PG thirteen show back then, wasn't it? Yeah, TV fourteen. TV fourteen. So you know, it was kind of like a little bit more edgy, anyway. So. And just for the time, so they said some worse shit other than retard. I mean, oh yeah. Fuck. Oh yeah. Je- uh, Jesse, what are you doing, man? When you smoking tonight, brother? <laughs> I'm giving Jesse the the ending of the show here. What is it? I don't know. Like, what is it? A fucking high school? Everybody smokes weed like it's a big deal. Well, well, <laughs> I, you got to remember, I'm the I'm the lame one who barely smokes. So to me, it's amazing. It's like, whoa, you smoking? What are you doing? Well, you had a good showing like recently. That worked out better than the other times. <laughs> you guys, ch- you were like, oh, yeah. that's funny. Oh, dude, listen, I will blow you. I'm gonna go. Well, on, I'm gonna leave a bunch of hate comments. That works. I'm going tonight on a TikTok and on the Instagram, and I'm gonna leave a bunch of hate comments for Botch Club, and I'm gonna see mm-hmm. how fast I get banned. I'm gonna say a bunch of hateful things on Botch Club in- Instagram and Twitter. So. Look for that later. Make sure you guys all like my hate comments on Botch Club and Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to do it later when I go to bed. I'm going to leave hate comments. Reporting the video. No, I'm not going to report the video, but I'm going <laughs> to but I am going to put hate comments. Jesus in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Good report Lord. The, report the account. Like, let's just burn down their house. Like, no, 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 no. We're okay. We don't have to do that. Botch Club's address immediately. What up, Six? What up to... The Weed God, Nikki J. Thanks for the love, Nikki J. What's up? How about Bullfrog's address in the chat though earlier? I mean, oh, I gotta Jesus. look up where he looks where he lives now. I bet it's a shithole. Oh, really you know. haven't seen it? He was all over the internet. First of all, he, mean, first of all, he docks first of all, he, he doxed himself a while ago. Second of all, D. Welsh told everybody <laughs> a while ago when he did it. And plus I see it I used to see it all over and everywhere. So like I trust me, I know where he is. Oh, and and, and he knows where I am. There's a bunch of people that live there. That's the fucked up part. There's a lot of other people that live there that have nothing to do with him, and it's like, yeah. Oh, great. Well, the best part He's is the, the best part is when people were doxing my 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 other my family's address, but it wasn't my address, and I'm like, that's not even my address. Oh, that's fucked up. I was I had to Jesus. call I had to call my aunt and be like, Hey, I saw your uh, address everywhere. <laughs> She's like, What? You haven't you haven't gotten any anthrax in the mail lately, have you, Auntie? Like no. Yeah. You got any dildos or? Yeah, I'm like oh, I don't so know. That, no, that's Maybe a nice gift thing. though. Yeah. Yeah, you might use I mean, that. You'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna use this. This is pretty nice of him. Thank you. Thanks for sending this above, to me. Only if it's above seven inches though. Anything below that, just throw it out. Well, I thought that too, but. 
Uh, then one time Useless. I got a gift for Leah, and she was like, that's too mm-hmm. big. Mm. It was a cantaloupe. Was it a double-headed Jeez. dildo so you could stick it in her and then put it in your ass? I, well, I actually just, what ended up happening is I just kept it. Oh. I used it on me kept only. It. I'm in the man cave. Keep your dildo in the man cave. On the manhole. Yeah. right. I put man. it right in my manhole. <laughs> you know, Dope nasty clean. boys. I don't know. I guess they don't need a GM right now. They don't want the GM thing, you know. You have to be somebody good, I'll tell you that. Yeah. No, no GM. You yet. say the fucking nasty no boys. GM. Yeah, what? you want knobs to knob gob you? No. Slob on his knob. No. It should have been slob and knob. Dude, the funniest thing is when New Jack posted uh, a picture of Brian Knobs because Brian Knobs sent him his ass or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, he's got a man-made butthole. That ain't made by God. <laughs> that- <laughs> oh my God. That, like, oh my dude, God. it was gross He's though. Got the motherfucking a... thing you could fit a fucking uh I don't know, you could fit a can of spam in that motherfucker. Like He's got a man made asshole, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? Oh my god, that's awesome. Why did I never see that? Yeah, somewhere in the oh, area, I, think, I, think, I think it was in his uh no K no K Fabe and uh fucking shoot. I think where I he like showed the picture and everything. He's like, I got that shit on my one of my phones. He starts fucking. Like, oh my god! <laughs> right, right uh, with his. Like, right with his. Motherfucker sent it to me, so I could show it to all y'all, cause I didn't ask to see it. Like it was, it was fucking hilarious. Now you all gonna see it? That's hilarious. I wish I saw that. Why would they go? F- why would they use them? What you said they were gonna be the GM. That's pretty fucking sad. No, the guy was just like saying in the chat. He was like, "Hey, man, you know." Why don't they get a get a GM? You know. Oh, all right. Well, no, I was wondering why the nasty boys were brought up. Oh, or is that, that was, their name in the chat. Yeah, that was a different thing. Yeah, he was saying. <laughs> oh, got it. I don't even. I actually don't even remember what we were. What that was originally about. I have no idea now. <laughs> I've completely forgot. AEW <laughs> doesn't need a GM though. It's cool when Tony Khan comes out, maybe after Dynamite, and read about it or something. That's all they need. They don't need an on-screen GM or anything. Right. Yeah. yeah that's. I think a lot of people feel that way shit right now. Shit bomb! Like, not yet. You become a shit bomb. Oh. Slobby. Slob69 Monica. Car battery Monica Paul. Randy Viper with some weird coded language there. Yeah, Slob69 was, I guess he was congratulating Triple H on, I don't know, I, people are saying that. I haven't seen it. I'm not sure yet, but I will, uh, I will try to find it. Let me see here. Hey, Joe. Grim's oh. toy show said AU all out sucked because all of the WWE oh. guys beat the full time AU guys. That video on his second channel has so many dislikes. I Grim's saw it. Grim's toy show had to what? be high as hell. He is the male version of Luigi. Being a W. I, dude, I saw it. He was getting buried. Because, no. dude, well, yeah, I mean, I didn't... everyone yeah, loved but... the show Sunday. So, like, anybody who crapped on the show, people lost it. Like Jim, well, Cor- no, but that wasn't he, he, he. That wasn't right what he said though, because honestly, I didn't see it as WWE guys came in and started kicking everyone's ass. I saw it as the baby faces came in and started kicking ass on the heels, right? Um, yeah, isn't that, that's, that's kind of what, what happened, happened at the end, basically. Yeah, that's pretty much I what mean, happened. Yeah. I don't know. He just wants to be controversial. Nothing wrong with that, but they'll probably swat him now. Now, didn't didn't somebody tell me earlier that Tommy wished death on Triple H or something? And I don't see that. Jesus. Why? Whoa. That's horrible Why? if that was true. But that person said that earlier, and we were like, that's terrible. But maybe that's well, not then. true. Maybe yeah. somebody lied about Mike that. I mean, wish. I don't follow anybody. Like, I don't follow scumbags, so you have to well, tell oh. me. <laughs> I mean, but- doesn't Triple H almost dying just put your mortality in perspective? Just like he was on our TV like 20 years ago or less than that. You yeah. know, he was like well, world just, champion. Now he's like dying just, of a heart fucking issue. Well, just seeing him the other day, I mean. But I mean, I guess this was something genetic. And so they were like, yeah, you've got this issue, blah, blah, blah. We'll fix it right now. And so now they're fixing it. I mean, you know who's more? Uh, well, Leo's always get heart issues anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. 
Uh, Check out Tom. Yeah. WWE lies. It's not. It's not genetic. It's from steroids. They fucking lie. Think about oh, it. it. Could be they that. Don't tell the truth. Right. It could be that. Anything. They don't tell the truth. The audience. I doubt. I doubt he's been on steroids in a long time though. Now I showed yeah, them. I mean, just now case. you got we yeah. we uh, somebody sent me this last week or whenever, but I just felt for anybody that didn't see it when we played it on the show last week, uh, or whenever it was. Uh, he for some dumb reason wore like fucking four hats or five hats or something to SmackDown. Actually, it was SmackDown. It was on Thursday night we showed it because he uh, somebody sent it to me on Thursday. I don't remember who it was. A lot of people sent this to me. I just don't remember credit, but what the fuck, bro? Who the fuck wears four or five hats to a goddamn wrestling show? Like, dude. Sure. How desperate are you? He's got four or five personalities, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh at least he figured out how to wear like one, you know. I'm surprised he doesn't have seven pairs of pants and shit. <laughs> hey, bro, you know, they all. Jesse, when he go out, he tip all all his hats. Be like, yep. I'm important. I'm an important person. <laughs> Can you imagine? The wind comes up and like knocks his top, just the top one off, and he's got to like run after it. Oh. And as he's running, the other ones are flying off. <laughs> and he's uh. just fucked by the end of it. Oh man! I don't think he Benny plans Hill to shit. give plans to give one to each child he intends to meet at the show or something. Oh, like oh my oh. God! Just Guns intention. Very Bret Hart. I got uh, oh, I can't wait to watch the new Star Trek trailers. It'll be terrible. But yeah, I know he's got a big hat there. I got four hats. <laughs> I got four Rocking hats. Yeah, the mustard fucking jacket. Jeez, uh, who's last guy? The mustard jacket. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure that he does that color because that way if he spills any food on it, it's like it doesn't show. Well, unless it's ketchup, then he's fucked. Right. Yeah, that's... He could put a fucking... Some mustard, a yellow booger. Don't make He could pick his nose all day. Nobody could tell the difference. Oh. oh, here it is. Look at this. Oh, shit. Sex with the girls in here against their will with my dick in their rear. I got four hats, I got four hats. I am really fat and I got four hats, four hats. I wear four hats, I'm a douchebag who fucks cats. Like JD from New York, I like to eat pork on the back of my apartment porch. And I got four hats and I make fun of all the poor. I don't tip. If you're a prick and if I tip, it's five cents, deal with it. I got four hats, four hats, a fat, a four hat, and a fat, a four hat, a four hat, and a fat, a four hat, four hat, and how about that? I got four hat, and fat, four hat, make your head, make it go splat, got four hat. Give her that ass, give her that dick, make her suck prick, make it her dick. Then I'm gonna be the dad to her kid. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm sorry. That was fun. That was a lot yeah. of fun. The new song, Four Hats. Yes. But uh, I mean, I, 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 thank you for sending me that picture. Uh, and thanks to the weed god and everybody else. I appreciate it. But we did, yeah, we did. Well, actually, Nikki didn't send it, someone else did. but... We already went over the picture a week ago, but yeah, it's always fun to go over it again. Um, but yeah, I don't know what he, I don't know. Per, the person that said he said this trash about Triple H, I don't see it. Listen, it's not my job to police what people say about people. So I don't even, oh. I, I'm not sure that's even true that he said that. So I, if you send me something, I'll, then I'll say, wow, that's bad. But until I see the proof, I feel like someone made that up to make him look bad. So I apologize to 
not that he's listening, but to Tommy, apologize if somebody uh, is lying about that. And he didn't say that, but I don't know. So we'll see what happens. What an asshole. Who the Probably fuck wears four it. hats? A fucking. I mean, listen, you know, when, when you wear two hats, I think like, all right, pedophile, you know. But but when you wear automatically, the, right, automatically, like two hats, pedophile, three hats. Now I'm like, all right, three hats, mentally disturbed, pedophile. And yeah, yeah. Four hats. Four? four hats is you've killed people. I mean, let's just <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, and then five hats. Five hats is you're uh, completely out of your mind, insane, and you and you've raped and killed people. Five hats. And then after that, Tommy's. That's the limit, yeah. Yeah, and then if you murder after five, oh. if you're wearing more than five, you're in the act of murdering. Like, can we all? You agree? should use five different fingerprints. I mean, if you're going to be doing those things, fuck I, the hats, right? <laughs> exactly. I, Wait, what, do you want me? Do you want me to end this stream right now with a joke? I mean, no, no, oh, Jesus Tommy. Christ, no, let's. Not I won't do that. go there. I'm, not do that. I'm not. Sh- in fact, I'm getting out of here Jesus. now before I think I've done enough damage tonight. You might want to get out of here before I drop this shit. All right, right let's I, get out I of here. i got to hold myself back. Let's get out of here. All right, listen, I love you. Paul 3, Jesse, Jesse, you sexy beast. Thanks for coming on tonight. I wish we had more of Jesse tonight, but hey, tomorrow night, Jesse, we'll get it on. What are you doing tomorrow? Hit me up. Okay? All right, sounds I good. I mean, really, I, mean, I really miss you. I need to talk to you. We need to ha- We need to talk. Like, we need to have a, an, after, right. an after dark, and we need to hang out, and I want to talk to you, and laugh with you actually right now would be really good to do it but i'm just burnt to fuck so i love you love you too man we'll we'll do it all right i really do love you man i was thinking about you today and i masturbated no i was really thinking about you though um and uh ryan the heel you better really masturbate then too i mean come on i really will man by the way i'm digging this like west coast shit that's going on right now with this whatever song i pulled up no i know it sounds like uh like a Oh, I guess something that would have been on, like, The Chronic or something, but, like, really, like, yeah. basic as fuck. Like, before they actually layered it and shit. Right. Like, the, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I got your mom up, put her in the rug up, gonna fuck your mom. Like, it's very, I like it. Um, good night, everybody. I guess shout out to Dre and Tupac, I guess. I don't know. That's what it sounds like. All right. Good night, Mikkel. Paul 3, Four Eyes, and Jesse Kisses. I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow is... uh right, brother. Out of nowhere, if Jake's feeling good, I think he will be out of nowhere tomorrow. And then Friday night, monetize this. Kenny Omega with blue hair. Good night. Peace out. You guys all crazy. This is probably going to get me a copyright. Your mom gave an STD Talking about what she gonna do to me I'm gonna break her jaw Furiously Put her on the ground Give her my disease I got COVID-19 Kinda mean I'm coming for your mom If you know what I mean I'm not lean From the street Gonna crack your mom's head open Within a tree Gonna feed her a treat She's a dog I'm gonna feed your fucking mom my hog I'm gonna stuff my pinky Up inside of her mouth and then I'm gonna rip off a dumb blouse Impregnate the puss real quick Become your damn stepdad quick This thick dick gonna go in kick Gonna hit that bitch with it, yeah Come on, give me some of that smoke Come on, give me some of that chronic Come on, give me some of that tonic Come on, I wanna find it Come on, I'm coming up in your mom I wanna come and you're gonna be my son what am I talking about right now? I got COVID-19 from your mother now. Put it in, didn't give a fuck. I went to school, broke the rules. And then your mom had the fucking drools. When she saw the size of my hog. What are we doing right now? Good night, everybody. I love you all. Thanks so much for uh, being here on this uh, review tonight that turned into an absolute fucking excursion. D. Welsh with the $100. What would I do without you, you sexy chinless sex monster and sith negan for all the support and the modding tonight sith negan was on the ball sith negan thank you sith negan for everything man and click click boom boom thanks to six 
six, 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 six. And everybody else. And for no reason whatsoever, shout out to all the deers out there. And I mean the deers in the forest who are virgins and haven't fornicated and mated yet. I don't know why I said that, but... Pacharo, thanks for the three dollars. I'm out of here. on my hog yeah that bitch like a white ass log and she black but i'm white as fuck so let's get real fucked and mix it up come inside. max caster you want to do this you want to battle me max caster let's go good night i'm really going bye Oh my God, Tommy did do it. He's a scumbag. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. What the fuck, Tommy? What a fucking psycho, dude. This guy is in heart surgery. And you tweeted, my prayers go out to him, but it looks like his heart is a B player. What the fuck, dude? What kind of fucked up shit to say is that? My prayers go out to him, but it looks like... But then he, then he makes a joke about his fucking heart. My prayers go out to you, but it looks like your heart was a B-plus player. Like, what the fuck? is wrong with him that's fucking weird dude what it, dude if i made a joke like something like anything he would he would go crazy but like dude imagine if uh imagine if when imagine if you had a family member in the hospital and i was like oh yeah but you know it looks like you're fucking is a b plus uh. like you dude, you'd be like what the fuck oh my god dude what a fucking weirdo fuck that is what a weirdo he is so fucking weird, dude. He would spend time messaging me on the side saying how he likes me and all oh, this stuff. And then I'd be like, yeah, man, come back then and come hang out sometime, you know, whatever. Or I hope you've been good or whatever. And then, like, somebody will be like, yeah, dude, that guy bashes you every second. And I'm like, what? What a fucking piece of, piece of shit, bro. This is a piece of shit. You're fucking, fucking, you're not going to, oh God, I want to say so many things. I'm not going to do it though. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Wow. Bye.
Always the people that love, I love God. I'll make a joke about that. That's fucking crazy. How's your barber's heart doing? Ooh, 